Um, Hi. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? Today is Friday, the 27th of March, and it is one o'clock on the dot. Just keeping you informed and keeping you on track with what, what <laughs> day is it? Um, yeah. It's easy to get confused these it's days. Easy, yeah. <laughs> I get confused all the time because I like to sleep. So when I wake up, I could think it's like the next day when it's just maybe 45 minutes that's passed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So we have a focus today. It's a nice focus six to seven webinar. Um, if you are watching our webinar, please, please, please comment what your name is, where you're from, and what did you eat for breakfast this morning? Jenna and I are very interested. We want to know. Yes. All so right. um, I'll start by asking you, what's your name? Where are you from? And what did you eat for breakfast this morning? I am Joanna. I come <laughs> Cape Town, South Africa, the very big city um, next to the ocean. And at the moment, well, currently I am in the countryside of Bologna and I am a teacher at Bologna Mille. Um, what did I eat for breakfast? It seems so long ago, but it's not. Um, I had cereal this morning. I had like two breakfasts because I'm just a chub. <laughs> I, I had cereal this morning with a cup of tea and a glass of water because I take my yeah. tablets in the morning. So those three were essential. And then after an hour or so, I had a banana and like um, a fruit juice, an orange fruit juice. But you know, in Italian, they call it the spremuta. What would we call it in English? Just fruit juice, orange juice. Yeah, um, freshly squeezed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Freshly squeezed orange juice. I had that, it was very nice. Mm, nice. <laughs> what about you, Jenna? Um, so I had, well, my name is Jenna. Um, I live in Bologna and teach in Bologna. Um, I'm originally from the Bahamas, which is a country between Cuba and Florida. We're an English speaking country. And for what did I eat for breakfast? I had instant coffee with um, milk and cookies. <laughs> That's cool. I like instant coffee. Um, like the one that you get in the tin. I'm trying to like make a tin. <laughs> yeah. My exactly. mom is addicted. Yeah. To yeah. My mom, like she's addicted, but not with milk, just black, no sugar, no milk. It's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> yeah. It's not, yeah. I, I like the instant coffee. I don't have any at the moment. I should actually go to the supermarket and get that. Get some, yeah. Yeah, yeah before I, you can't find it anymore. Exactly. I am running out of capsules. Um, yeah. Capsules, like uh, you get 10 in a box, and when the box is finished, you're like, oh, I don't have any more coffee. Exactly. <laughs> All right. We've got some, some people. Would you like to read uh, the first comment? Yeah, uh, Titi says, I'm Titi and I'm from province of Barry. Okay, I ate apple slices and I took a cup of milk with coffee. Nice. All right. So remember in English, quickly with the spelling, province is with an I. I am from the province of Bari. I ate apple slices. So in English, we don't say I took a cup of coffee. It's very, that's a very Italian uh, translate, direct translate, but I had a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Or I had a cup of tea. Jenna had a cup of coffee and I had a cup of tea. <laughs> All right, we have another one. Chiara says, I'm Chiara, I'm from Modena, and for breakfast I, oh, again, I had a cup of milk with biscuits. Hmm, similar to mine. <laughs> yes, you, you had exactly what you had. We have another. Would you like to read? Yeah, Valentina says, Hi, beautiful teachers. For breakfast, I had a coffee and homemade chocolate biscuits. What? Oh. Homemade <laughs> chocolate biscuits? You need to give Jenna that recipe. Yes. <laughs> I need so all the recipes now. <laughs> That's all I'm doing every day. I'm just baking cookies. All right. When we get back to school, there better be a big jar, right, on Lisa's desk, so we can all take every time we get hungry. Yeah, well, we'll be something. Perfect. Valentina is a student of ours at Bologna Mille. Hello. 
We also have sole. Hi, sole. Uh, Hi. <laughs> I had soy milk and cereal. So remember, cereal is count, um, uncountable. So I had soy milk and cereal for breakfast. Mm. Yeah. No good. Would Gianluca you like says, yeah. Hi. Hi, Gianluca. Uh, for breakfast, I have I had soy milk, coffee, and biscuits. This is interesting because I also had soy milk in my coffee. Um, I, really yeah. I, I know physically what the difference is between soy milk and normal milk. Like I know. Mm -hmm. But why is it preferred? Why do people like soy milk? Please um, well, okay, I'm not lactose intolerant or anything. Um, that's not why I drink it, but um, my partner likes it, so that's what we usually have at home. <laughs> and I don't mind it. I have almond milk. Mm, I, I actually do prefer almond milk to soy milk, I have to say. I haven't <laughs> it yet. My partner also likes it, so we got it, but... I I, I like cow's milk. Like I'm I'm not I'm not judging anyone who, who drinks soy milk. Maybe I should no. just maybe it's even better, like a better taste. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I, so, uh, it's a so, little more expensive, but yeah. a little bit more expensive. But yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, if it's healthy, if it's good for the body, why not? I mean exactly. <laughs> Sole and Gianluca are also students of ours from Bologna Mule. Hi guys. Um, so it says she is intolerant of milk. So what what word did you say when you say you're intolerant, Jenna? You said a word. Okay. Um, if you're in, intolerant, uh, lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. So it just means that your body or your stomach it doesn't do well with lactose, milk. Mm -hmm. So any, anything with lactose, that would be yogurt, cheese, cream. So long list. My sister's also lactose intolerant. Oh, all right. Titi also says me too. I'm also I'm intolerant to dairy products. All right, mm. it's good to know. It's good to know that you guys are keeping healthy and drinking soy milk. Uh, <laughs> I can open that bo that bottle of almond milk, and now I need to try it to see if maybe maybe I should substitute. Yeah. You can you can try anything <laughs> in these next few days. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so cool. if, you're watching, if you're going to tune in a little bit later, please tell us what your name is, where you're from, and what did you eat for breakfast? So yeah, because I know that Gianluca is not from Bologna. I know Sole is not from Bologna. The only person who is is Valentina. Uh, Gianluca is originally from Sicily. And Sole is originally from Calabria. Yeah. I'm filling in their information. Gianluca says, would you like to read? Gianluca says, cow milk is absolutely sweeter. I'll try to explain. I can drink um, normal milk, but I feel much, oh, okay. I feel that my stomach is mu much heavier um, than soy milk. Okay. Soy milk. All right, so I'm going to quickly correct your sentence. Um, I can drink uh, normal milk, but I feel that my stomach is a lot, maybe we don't say a lot heavier, maybe a lot more full. Mm, yeah. Or a lot fuller. Mm -hmm. So a lot, it is fuller. Yeah, fuller. A lot fuller uh, with, uh, with, 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 with normal. Or with normal milk, yeah. Than <laughs> with soy milk. Okay, that's good. That's a nice explanation, it's not bad. Valentina says, I'm 100% Bolognese. <laughs> awesome. And I'm 100% Cape Tonian. What do you call people who come from the Bahamas? Bahamian. And Jenna, are you 100% Bahamian? Um, yeah, I was born in the Bahamas. Um, but, okay. I, I like to say I'm 100% Bahamian. 
my father is Bahamian and my mother is Scottish. So I'm also half Scottish. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm uh, South African by birth. But my parents are not South African at all. I I I was born there. I was grew I grew up there. But I'm proudly South African. So 100 <laughs> percent. So Gianluca says, "I told you that was difficult. No, you did a really good job. We understood. You even convinced me. And now I'm gonna get some milk. So you did an excellent job. All right. Let me share my screen with you guys so you can see what we're going to do." today so interview with a famous person what would you like to read it jenna yes okay so in this focus activity preparing and asking interview questions asking personal questions <laughs> oh answering personal questions oh sorry answering personal questions no, Answering personal questions. Awesome. Look how beautiful she looks there. Don't you think Rihanna looks gorgeous? She does. <laughs> so when you want to say a woman is extremely beautiful, you could even say she's gorgeous. Um, it's not talking about the personality necessarily. Um, but Oh, I don't know why I put a star there. But it's referring to her outer looks. Okay. All right, so we have a couple of questions. Would we? Would you want to go through them one by one? Sure, yeah. Okay, I'll do the first one. Who is your favorite celebrity and why? Um, who is a celebrity you admire? Why? Mm -hmm. And which celebrities are popular at the moment? And do you admire them? Do you like them? Mm, exactly. So we have the verb to admire before we start. And to admire, it means to, to respect someone, to respect or to like someone. <laughs> Good. So, Joanna, um, do you have a favorite celebrity or celebrity that you really like? Oh, I have like a couple. Um, I am absolutely gobsmacked. So gobsmacked is like a really good thing. It's like, wow, with Blake Lively. Mm. Yeah, I think she's hilarious. Um, I think that she's really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know if she's the best actress I've seen. I don't, but she's a good actress. She's a really yeah. good actress. But I like her more for not being an actress, just, just mm -hmm. for what she looks like and her sense of humor. Right. Um, I have, I'm not going to say she's my favorite celebrity, but it's an Italian one that I, I think she's done a really, really good thing in the last couple of days is Chiara Ferrani. Okay. Um, I think she's done a lot of good things for Italy recently. So she, she made um, a GoFundMe page for the hospitals in Milan. Mm. And she oh. raised three or four million euro for the oh, hospital. That's really good. Yeah, so I think I like her. I think I'm I'm really impressed by what she did. It was a okay. good gesture. She used her platform for for the greater good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really admire celebrities that, that do that, that use their platform for, for good. Exactly. Um, that donate to charities and mm -hmm. yeah bring more awareness to those charities as well. Yeah. It's good. Um, before I ask Jenna the same question, guys, please comment in the comment section. Um, who is your favorite celebrity and why? Who is a celebrity you admire? Why? And which celebrities are popular at the moment? Do you admire them? Please interact with us. Let us know your opinions as well. Maybe there is someone that you mention that we like too. <laughs> All right, Jenna, what about you? Yeah, so for me, um, I more than have a favorite celebrity, I tend to prefer actors in certain roles. Um, but mm -hmm. I do like um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I think he's a very good actor. Obviously, he's won so many nominations for various films. And um, I think, yeah, he's quite, quite good at it. Um, playing different types of roles. So, 
Yeah, also, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes. <laughs> also really, really good looking. Also good looking, yes. <laughs> Which movie did you do the most out of him? Um, it's hard to say, but I, I liked him in Catch Me If You Can. Have you seen that film? No, I'm going to write it down. Catch, Catch Me If You Can. If You Can, yeah. He plays a con artist in that film, and he's re really good at it. Mm, maybe I have seen it. I just don't remember the, um, yeah. the title. Awesome. Forging signatures. He uh, pretends to be various different people. I used to forge my mom's signature when I was in school. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone has at some point. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Perfect. I see we've got some comments. Yes, we do. So let's start with Sole. Sole okay. says, uh, my favorite celebrities are Lady Gaga, Emilia Clark, and Angelina Jolie. I like them for their talent and powerful mood. What do you, you mean, personality? Remember when we talk about someone's mood, like we talk about whether they are happy or angry um, in the moment. Um, so maybe they're powerful personalities, like Angelina Jolie. She's a really strong woman. Lady Gaga as well. I mean, they they stand up for their rights and their beliefs and what is good for people. So maybe perhaps personality or character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Jenna, would you like to take the next one? Yeah. Um, my favorite celebrity is Billie Eilish. I love her music, her personality, and also she is very beautiful. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I remember, Valentina, you're going, when coronavirus is finished, you're going to go and watch Billie Eilish's concert. That's really exciting. I like, I like Billie Eilish's music. She's got some really good songs, a different type of genre of music, sort of like um, Lana Del Rey. You know who Lana Del Rey is, Jenna? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She's very original, uh, yeah. Billie Eilish. I think that's why a lot of people admire or, or like her mm. as an she, artist. She's not, I don't think she's really conforming to what society deems appropriate or normal. I think she's just trying to show that it's okay to be different. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's why a lot of people like her. Gianluca says, absolutely Will Smith. He is an amazing actor, but he can dance and sing as well. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> so, also, I think he before, no, maybe this was while he was an actor. He was a rapper. So, and he's got some, some really good songs, but I'm talking about maybe almost 20 years ago songs. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, go look, go look at uh, Will Smith when he raps. He's got some, he has nice ones. Go look it up on YouTube, Gianluca. Yeah. <laughs> Gianluca says, uh, Jenna, would you like to, to read that yeah. one? Also, Valentina Mondini. She is an amazing fashion stylist. She isn't famous yet, but she will be famous soon. Hmm. Yeah, good. That's it. Yeah, keep representing your friends. Um, look, Valentina, you've got your biggest fan supporting you. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, yeah, because I, I remember Valentina, she designs clothes as well. She's a design, uh, I don't know, she studied fashion design, I think. Hello, we have another. Uh, oh, wow, we got a lot. So Valentina responds to it. Valentina says, Gianluca, when I become famous, I will hire you as my personal uh, yeah. representative, my PR. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, Gianluca. You've got a job already. <laughs> Another job. <laughs> Would you like to read Sole's comment? Yeah. Oh, Gianluca. I like Jaden Smith too. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh. The whole oh, family. Gianluca. Yeah, the whole family. They're pretty cool. Would you like to read Lorenzo's comment? Yeah. My favorite celebrity is uh, Mika. I saw two concerts, one in December and one in February. I like Mika for his personality and he can transmit energy when he dances. Hmm. Oh, so you could say he can transmit energy to you when he dances. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, Mika. I didn't think I would hear that from anybody. Um, what is the... What's some good songs? It's like, uh, 
there was like the fat bottom girls um uh grace kelly he's got some great songs <laughs> you should look it up like i mean it's not bad he, yeah he's got some songs that when you dance when you can dance to it like not crazily but you, yeah i like this yeah. song oh i'm not that familiar with his music no go yeah. look him up he's he's awesome uh, i think he's english hmm. yeah. right so Gianluca also says the whole smith family has remember there you're talking about it like the family has talent it is wonderful <laughs> hmm. Um, so Jenna, which celebrities, I think that we're going to go to the third question because yeah. if who is a celebrity you admire? It's sort of the same as who is your favorite celebrity? Yeah. Very similar. Yeah. Um, um like you were saying, uh -huh. oh, um, yeah. And like, so, or as we were saying before, I just, any celebrity that, um, you know, openly donates to charities, um, or bring, yeah, bring light to certain charities and problems that yeah, are relevant. <laughs> yeah, but not, I, I agree with you. Um, of course, one of the big ones is a lot of people are speaking out about coronavirus and helping donate. But I think it's good if the, the celebrity doesn't just do it in the moment, but there's always something that they're doing. Always donating to this one or that yeah. one. Um, yeah so i mean you have the platform you have the means why not help and i like it when they do that yeah yeah so in your opinion jenna which celebrity mm. is popular at the moment i'm gonna uh, do you admire out just what yeah. is popular i think it, it really depends on the age group right but mm -hmm. um for younger people taylor swift is very is a very popular singer um ed sheeran a lot of people like Ed Sheeran, Cristiano Ronaldo for uh, football. So yeah, it just depends um, on your age group and what you're interested in. Mm -hmm. I know that the Kardashian family is really popular. Like people like them. A lot That's of drama. True. A lot of drama and drama keeps the world going. <laughs> All right. So we have Titi who says, my favorite celebrities who I look up to, so I look up to, are Silvia Avalone and Alessandro D'Avenia, a young and talented contemporary writer. So they are young and talented contemporary writers um, because I like their writing style. Mm -hmm. I don't know who they are, but I'm gonna write them down, Titi. I'm gonna yeah. like, this is interesting. I'm learning more and more about the history of, <laughs> and just the culture yeah this is a good way to um well pre <laughs> not practice my italian but um learn a bit more italian by reading good, mm -hmm. good italian authors awesome thank you so much for sharing that all right let us continue to the next slide so would you like to read that jenna Sure. Guess who? Um, where were you born? So we've got, I was born in Hawaii and I was born in Barbados. We have Nicole Kidman and Rihanna. Where do you think Nicole Kidman was born? Um, write it in the comments. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a bunch of questions. So there will be more than one question based on these two celebrities. Of course, one is Rihanna and one is Nicole Kidman. So like Jenna said, if you know the correct answer, put it in the comment section. So for example, Nicole was born in, hmm, and Rihanna was born in, hmm. So where, where were you born, Jenna? I was born in the Bahamas, and you? I was born in, Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, oh, look, we've got two of them. So, Jan, ooh. We've got a different response. <laughs> yeah, Charlie says, Rihanna was born in Barbados. And Nicole was born in Hawaii. Yeah. But funny enough, that is so strange that Nicole was born in Hawaii. She's an Australian yeah. actress. I would never have guessed that to be honest, but no, yeah. would I? I would have been like, oh, yeah, exactly. 
Okay. So yes, guys, as well in the comment section, if you would like to say, where were you born? Where were you born? Tell us. Because maybe, for example, you live in Bologna, but you were not born in Bologna. Like me. Oh. I live in Bologna, but I'm not even from Italy. All right. In the same time, let us continue. What was your first job? My first job was selling clothes, and my first job was a massage therapist. Whoa, oh. mind blown. So again, guys, in the comment section, put the sentences under the correct celebrity. Mm. What was your first job, Jenna? My first job was while I was still at university, um, I went back to the Bahamas in the summer, um, and I worked at this hotel as an animator. So organizing different activities throughout the day uh, for the guests at the hotel. As in for the guests in general or children? For, for all of them, for adults, children, teenagers. Um, so we'd organize different games, um, different like sporting um, events, <laughs> volleyball and yeah. It yeah, was you're fun. Really creative for that. And I think that you are creative. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so before we continue with that, we have Gianluca who says, I was born in Palermo. We went to Palermo in December. Yes, it was beautiful. Yeah. Would you like to read Lorenzo's comment? Lorenzo says, I was born in Parma and I live in Sorbolo. Okay. <laughs> where is Sorbolo? I don't know where that is. Me neither. <laughs> Lauren, so where's the bowl? Let us know where it is. All right. Sole says, I was born in Calabria, but I'm not Calabrese. I'm not 100% Calabrese. Uh, my first job was a waitress in a Lido. What is a Lido? Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, Sole, can you explain what a Lido is? I don't understand. Ah, Lorenzo says it's in the province of Parma. Thank you very much. All right. But guys, don't forget, we need to match up who uh, the sentences belong to. For example, my first job was selling clothes. Is it Nicole Kidman or is it Rihanna? Hmm. Yeah, it's really difficult to guess sometimes. It's um, random things. It's like, this is not what they put in the newspaper or on the internet. Right. <laughs> All right. Valentina says maybe the first job, um, Nicole's first job was selling clothes. Should we see? Um, okay, let's let's reveal. <laughs> no, it was for Rihanna. And Nicole was a massage therapist. Hello, Nicole, you can come massage my back. <laughs> right. So guys, in the comment section at the same time, please let us know what was your first job? Hmm. My first job was, um, I was a waitress in a restaurant slash a bartender in a bar. Um, yeah, so in, in, in English, we can say a bar is a pub, okay? Hmm. Remember that it's not like the Italian bar where we drink coffee but this is more where we drink a lot of alcohol mm -hmm. and yes i was my very first job yeah are you good at making cocktails then i'm good <laughs> at serving alcohol and and dealing with drunk people i actually worked there for a very very long time i started when i was 15 years old as a restaurant um and i continued for an additional five years um and then every time I go back home, because my aunt um, is the manager there, every time I go back home, um, I go. I will help there. Um, mm. It's not an easy job, so good job. I take my hat off to you if you are a bartender. Uh, Sole says, a Lido is a, a what? A balnea, balnearia, oh, I don't know, structure. A and it's only in the summer. The place okay. where there are beach umbrellas. Ah, okay. Lido. Ah, like Lido di Bagno, Lido do something on the on the beach. All right. Okay. Cool. 
That's mm -hmm. awesome. That's like a summer job. Gianluca says, I would like to read. Yeah, uh, Gianluca says, my first job was selling electronic devices. Hmm. Awesome. Where? Where did you sell electronic devices? Uh, Lorenzo goes on to say, my first job was to repair hydraulic valves that return from the marketplace. I mean, after sales. Okay. Um, what would an after sales in what? So in like a plumbing company or in a hydraulic? Yeah, hydraulic would be plumbing. Um, yeah. yeah, tell us a little bit more about the job that you you worked at. Awesome, guys. So, yes, in the comment section, keep commenting, keep interacting. We really appreciate it. Um, let's move on. Oh, lots of questions. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we alternate reading the questions? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I'll read the first one. Um, where were you born? Uh, where did you grow up? Did you go to university? What was your first job? Mm -hmm. uh, did you like your first job? Are you married? Do you have children? Do you have a job now? And when did you start English lessons? Wow. Look at that. <laughs> All right. We've got some other comments before we continue. Let's just read them and then we can continue with the responses. Mm -hmm. Kitty says, I was born... Oh, I was born in the province of Bari, uh, Altamura, a town next to Matera. My first job was a teacher in after school. Um, yeah. What would you say in, in the Bahamas or what would you call it after school? Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure what she's referring to exactly. Um, do you uh, know? Yes. So in the public school systems here in Italy, um, the school will finish at four o'clock generally. Mm -hmm. Some parents who can't fetch their children at four o'clock because they're still at work. So yes. there's someone who looks after their children and does homework, but in the school. Um, yeah. In Africa, we call it aftercare. Mm. Aftercare is someone who, who looks after your child. They usually give maybe your child a snack after school, sit with them, do the homework, play some games um, until the parents finish work and can come fetch them. Exactly. <laughs> were, you, were you ever in aftercare, Jenna? Um, sorry, was I ever? No, 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 no. I always had someone uh, to pick me up right after school. And awesome. you? <laughs> um, I know. My mom made us walk home. She's like, I'm at work. You have to walk. <laughs> Do you guys have like an aftercare or an after school system in the Bahamas? Um, I think that there was, but very few people also, no, you know what I think it was? That um, the teachers left maybe like an hour later than all the students, an hour and a half, hour and a half, and the students would just have to stay with one of the teachers. Um, but in my country, it's very strange, even though it's a very small island, everybody has a car, so like nobody walks home or yeah so there's always somebody that can pick you up whether um, it's, yeah and that's it's interesting to know. Or, mm -hmm. in south africa not everybody has a car and it's not always so easy to to take time off of work to go and fetch your child or um yeah maybe you don't have your your parents your parents aren't alive anymore or mm -hmm. like as in grandparents or something uh or they don't live in your city it's not as uh, as easy to look after your children in the day. Yeah. Awesome. So, Gianluca goes on to say, uh, would you like to read his comment? Yeah, Uni Euro, a big store in Bologna. Okay. Have you been to Uni Euro? Uh, yes, I have. <laughs> we have one not too far from where I live at the moment. So. Mm. It's like uh, every now and then they have nice um, specials on like cell phones and laptops and okay cool. yeah cool. have you been to uni euro before no nope never oh. been <laughs> oh, they sell yeah and everything from television to cool. like an epilator for women uh, okay yeah they sell cds dvds chargers for your phone char phone covers 
Okay, I should try it someday. <laughs> it's not so expensive. Some of them are have good prices. Hmm. Um, Kiara says, I never worked, I'm a student. Oh, awesome, that's good. When you finish studying, there will be the opportunity. Don't rush. <laughs> Um, would you like to read the comment from Valentina? Sure. Mm -hmm. My first job was at McDonald's. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to do that. McDonald's gives away free food all the time to their staff. Cool. Sona says, I think I have invented that word. Ah, you're talking about the paniera, that one. Yeah, I think that's yeah. invented too. I, I didn't yeah. quite understand it. <laughs> um, would you like to read Lorenzo's? Yeah, uh, uh, sorry, Val Boyle makes valves for hy um, hydraulic power motion. Ah, okay, I'm following you completely. Awesome, thank you so much. I've literally written that name down just in case I might ever need it. Thank you, Lorenzo. <laughs> um, Titi says the after school isn't a Public school, I help children with their homework. So it's count, it's uncountable. Um, no, I'm not saying it's a public school. Um, it's usually something that they offer after school. But yeah, it, maybe it's different uh, in Italy. Maybe you also go to someone's house and help them. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you very, very much for that. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's get back to... To our thing would you like to read the first response right um sorry just another thing about um titi's comment that mm -hmm. might be like a tutoring school a school for tutoring yeah in general maybe she's just a tutor yeah mm -hmm. so tutoring is when you help a child or you help anyone with um either their yeah, their homework, you help them with what, what it is that they're studying at, at that point in time. Have you ever tutored anybody? Um, I've tutored a student uh, who wanted to take an exam. So yes, I've, I've done a bit of private tutoring before. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she did sorry. a Cambridge exam. She did really well, actually. Excellent, Very that's good for you. Oh, yeah. I've also done tutoring, I've tutored in English, I've tutored in business studies, so because mm -hmm. I study business in high school, um, and I've tutored in Afrikaans. So Afrikaans is a language that we speak in South Africa, and I had a little boy who needed help. Uh, so his mom said, because they lived in my in my neighborhood, so they're like, help me, and I was like, okay, <laughs> let me do my job. <laughs> I was born to be a teacher. <laughs> Okay, so we have the responses. Um, you can start. Yeah, okay. So first response, yes, I did. I studied law. Uh, my first job was a waiter. I started two months ago. I grew up in Madrid. No, I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. Yes, I am. No, I didn't like it. I was born in Barcelona. Okay, so for the first question, where were you born? Look for the answer, the correct answer on the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, guys, the questions that we've just read, they are numbered one to nine, one to nine. And the responses that we have on the right hand side would be A, um, a to I. I. Yeah, A to I. So yes, match the first question to the response on the left. Mm -hmm. I think I asked you this question already, Jenna. Where were you born? But can you describe the city where you were born? Oh, describe it. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm from a city called Freeport, which is on the island of Grand Bahama. It's one of the closest islands to Florida. Um, it's the second biggest city in the Bahamas. Um, and it's we've got beautiful beaches. Um, the weather's like between 20 and 30 degrees um, oh, year round. Yeah. yeah. Um, anything else? Um, yeah, there's lots of tourism. 
Um, you know, <laughs> any any particular question about my island? Yeah, if you guys have any any questions for Jenna about the Bahamas, feel free to comment them. There, it's yeah, I'm really interested. That's why I'm asking you random questions. Sole has actually got the first one. Excellent, Sole. Sole says A is I, uh, one is I. So let us move on to the next question. Where did you grow up? So match number two with the letter uh, either A to no longer A to I, but yes, A to I. And comment it in the comment section. So, Jenna, you were mm -hmm. born. Bahamas. You were born yeah. in Singapore. Where did you grow up? I, I grew up in the Bahamas. Um, I left when I was 18 to study at university in Scotland. Okay, awesome. How long did you stay in Scotland for? Um, three years. Yeah. Did you yeah. like Scotland? Did I like Yeah, I did. Um, I lived in Edinburgh, uh, the capital of Scotland, and it was... You know, even though it's really cold there, um, I found the people quite friendly. There was a lot to do and see culturally. So yeah, it was interesting, big student city. Awesome, what did you study? I studied languages, uh, French and Spanish for translating. So you speak French and Spanish? Yeah, <laughs> better, than, better than Italian. Mom, I weird. <laughs> Yeah, and guys, I'm learning some new things about my colleague. I didn't even know these things. Sole says, is that true that in the Bahamas you have a lot of parties? Uh, I don't know. It's, I wouldn't call it like a party country necessarily. Um, no, it's probably not the number one party country. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you're talking about... Uh, um, what's that Spanish place that everybody goes to? Uh, yeah, maybe you, maybe you're part of Island and and Bahamas. Bahamas is beautiful. I know that. Um, it's a bit quiet. Maybe it's a bit too quiet for. <laughs> for <party. laughs> we do have parties, but you mean city party? Uh, she says there's always a party in the Bahamas. <laughs> Jenna seems to say no. Jenna's like, no, there are no parties. Maybe I'm speaking more for my island. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps on the in the capital, um, there are more parties. What's the capital of Bahamas? Nassau. Nassau. So Nassau. Island is New Providence, and the city is called Nassau. Yeah. As in, like almost like NASA. But N A S A U is the spelling. Oh, okay, awesome, NASA. Cool, I'm learning so much. Geography, yeah. life, <laughs> the history of Jenna. I mean, cool. All right, Lorenzo um, says two is D. Good. Uh, so the question, where did you grow up? I grew up in Madrid. Excellent. Uh, Lorenzo says, would you like to read what Lorenzo says? Yeah, he says, my, my girlfriend, I think, too, she has Dell for French and CAE for English. Oh, very good. Cool, man. Way to go, Lorenzo's girlfriend. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So, yes, guys, next question. Did yes. you go to university? Match up number three with the letter or the response on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. And comment yes. in the comment section. Yeah, as Lorenzo was saying, um, so his girlfriend did CAE. CAE is not an easy exam to pass. Mm -mm. Uh, even if you've got the level, yeah, um, it, it can be quite tricky passing the CAE exam. So well done to her. <laughs> yeah, definitely well done. I think that we know that because we teach CAE. So we see um, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of difficulties and a lot of people struggling with it. But also... Yeah. Well done, really, man. Uh, Gianluca says three is one. So three can't be one because if it is three, did you go to university, Gianluca, and you respond one, then you would say, where were you born? Remember, three needs to go with a letter. So Sole has it. Sole says three is A. 
Yeah. Did you go to university? Yes, I did. I studied mm -hmm. law. Yeah. I think that's what Gianluca was. I know. I know. That's yeah. what I mean. I know that. <laughs> But I'm just being a little bit facetious. All right, guys. Did you go to university? Did you go to university? What about you, Jenna? Where did yeah. you study? Um, I studied in Scotland. Mm -hmm. What was the university's name? It's called Harriet Watt University. Harriet and Watt. As a woman, as a girl, I was in the minority at the university because they had um, mostly like engineering courses. In fact, the language course was, yeah, it was a bit strange <laughs> that they had language courses as well. How many students were there in your in your course? Oh, uh, oh, in my course, gosh, I don't remember. I don't, uh, like, what? I don't know, maybe for that year, under a hundred. Ah, so it's not that many people that were interested in it. Le a lot less. Oh, yeah, I can't imagine like that. South Africa, we also have a lot of engineers, a lot of people. You know, we have a lot of people who are studying law. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Lorenzo says she went to Cambridge for the exam. Oh, man. Excellent, Lorenzo. Yeah, very good. All right. So, yes, and guys. Surround uh, yourself in the language. Yeah. I think let's move to the next question. What was your first job? So number four, where does it go with? What letter? First job. I liked my first job. I really, really did. I liked the people yeah. I worked with. Yeah, I liked the environment. I met a lot of new people. Yeah. yeah in the town. But before I worked there, like I lived in this town um i knew everyone i went to school with but when you leave school then you don't see many people that often because everyone's gone to university or started working and then i worked in this pub and i was like hey here's a whole bunch of other people that i didn't even know existed right <laughs> yeah created a lot of good relationships with them uh, Holly says b what was your first job and you are good Right, correct. Good job, girl. Good. Um, so number five, mm -hmm. um, if you like your first job, what's the answer here? Did you like your first job? Um, I did. It's It requires a lot of energy <laughs> from you to be an animator because, um, you know, as you can imagine, people come to the Bahamas to relax on the beach and you've got to be there. Yeah, so in the next five minutes, ping pong tournament, or in the next 10 minutes, um, we're having a theater show. So oh, yeah, no. I require a lot of energy from you. How many hours uh, to did you work people for? To, 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 to. Sorry? How many hours did you work for? How many hours? Um, in the end, it was like 10 hours a day. That's a long day. It was a long day, yeah. Yeah. Way to go with the energy. Um, <laughs> Dolly says her response is H. Now, I need to find out which one is H. Did you like your first job? So the answer should be? Mm -mm. No, I didn't like it. I mm. did. Jenna liked hers. Uh, we hope you liked yours, too. <laughs> Uh, would you like to read the next question for them? Yes. Are you married? Okay, which, no. which, which one, one is it? Yeah. Are you married, Jenna? No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you? No, not yet. Not yet. There <laughs> not is yet. On this finger. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> all right so guys yes please we are running out of time so please let us know um the question are you married which letter does it move on to or which one does it does it uh, match up with are you married i'd like to get married one day though would you like to get married um yeah i don't feel like it would change much but um yes <laughs> I would just like um, 
the wear the white dress, or maybe not even a white dress, maybe a yellow dress. Hmm. Yeah. A yellow dress. Oh wow. My favorite color is yellow. You never know. All right. Lolly gives us the answer. She says maybe it could be G. So are you married? Yes, I am. Excellent. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there for now because we already finished with our webinar for today. But thank oh. you very, very much. Yeah, we're already down 50 minutes. Thank you very much for joining in and interacting. I hope you've learned a lot about Jenna, uh, my colleague. <laughs> um, They've learned some things about you too. Yeah, but Jenna is interesting. I like the Bahama stories. I've actually written down everything you've said. I've literally written Bahama, oh, Nassau, Nassau. Nassau. Um, I've written it down. I'm going to Google it now. Um, but yes, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bon appetito. Jenna, have an excellent day. Have a good lunch. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, See guys. You guys Bye. <laughs>